Greetings everyone, uh, today I'm making this video um, just to thank you, mm, thank you for your support, thank you for your uh, love and I would like to wish you a happy new year. So, um, happy new year everyone, I hope uh, you will have more, you know, this success and achievements in your daily life. So uh, let me, you know, this talk a little bit about, you know, this new year and uh, about, you know, this Christmas stuff. So um, uh, Mongolians do not, you know, this celebrate Christmas, but as you can see that we have this Christmas stuff like uh, Christmas tree and uh, the Christmas uh, Santa. Well, uh, when you know these Russians came with their communism and socialism and etc. etc. Um, this was, you know, this simply a New Year tradition. It's not a Christmas tradition, but it was a New Year tradition. So during the New Year, or in in the, in the case of Western calendar, someone comes, uh, gives presents to a children, and um, we should put, you know, this. Um, New Year tree. So this is not a Christmas tree, but a New Year tree. Uh, personally, I believe that this is a good uh, um, tradition or a good. It has a. It contains a good symbolism, something like that. So uh, we believe that uh, you wish for something from uh, Mother Earth and Father Sky, and tree usually connects the uh, sky. And earth. So her, you know, this um, in the case of tree, uh, roots go down to earth and the branches go to the up to the sky. So the tree connects, you know, this uh, mother earth and father heaven. So people have this uh, tradition to put you know, some, you know, these banners, ribbons, etc., etc., uh, to wish for uh, good luck and prosperity in. Uh, in, a, in the end of uh, you know this year or in the very beginning of a year something like that so I see this uh, uh, Christmas tree or New Year tree as um, somewhat evolved uh, in this form of uh, such you know this tradition and simply you are having this um, you know, this holy tree or wish tree uh, at your home so uh, so there is this uh, tradition to wish for something in the very beginning or in the uh, you know, this um, in the very end. So um, here in Mongolia, we usually wish uh, for things in the very beginning. I mean, uh, in the early in the morning when a sun is rising, when you know this sky is red, we usually wish for something. And sometimes the old people uh, spray milk uh, when sun is setting and when you know this um, sky is red. So um, in the case of you know this Mongolian flag, you know this one side is red, another you know this uh, side is red. So you have uh, one big sky. So we have uh, the sky uh, in this flag, something like that. And these two red things are represents the time when you uh, wish for something. So you can wish for uh, uh, something when you are going, uh, you know, going to sleep. Uh, I noticed that some Christians like pray before they go to bed. And also, you can, you know, this uh, wish for something when you, uh, uh, you know, this tend the bed or make the bed in the early morning. So uh, my uh, grandfather used to say that uh, if you do not, you know, this um, fix your bed in the early morning, uh, the day will be bad. So, uh, you know, fix your bed, uh, wish for good things and uh, do your daily, you know, this work, something like that. So, um, since I'm talking about the wish, I, uh, this year, um, um, year was not bad for me. Um, there was nothing, you know, this uh, big or special about this year. Uh, simply I made one of these uh, traditional clothings 
and I made uh, this, um, I, I know this, almost, you know, this, how to say, um, I was in panic, I made it uh, very, you know, this quickly, something like that. So this is going to be my version of a wish flag or wish banner or something like that. And um, every country has uh, different, you know, problems. Here in Mongolia, we have a, a lack of water. Uh, if uh, there is a more rainfall, uh, more you know these you know, this pastures, greener pastures, um, I thought we might be uh, living you know, this, a better life. So um, I thought you know this uh, asking for rain is the main thing you need to wish. Um, so this is going to be something uh, to do with the asking for rain. So um, uh, this you know this. Hangarit, or you know, this bird with the horns is going to be the totem uh, creature of, of this country. And you have a deer, and you have a crane, and you have some uh, mammoth, or some a big, big, you know, this big mouses, and you have a swan. So, in a case, when you have, you know, this, uh, we believe that when you have a deer, there will be clouds. And when you, when you know these cranes are singing, there will be rains. And when you know this uh, this little uh, rodents are you know there, there is a grass growing. And uh, when uh, there is a swans are you know this building their nest, there will be uh, more a uh, plenty of water. So I'm asking for water in the coming year. And I thought this was a. Uh, uh, one thing you need to ask, uh, if the climate is good, uh, people are going to be good. And um, at first I was there thinking about, you know, this uh, drawing like, you know, this uh, man and woman. And this woman is riding a horse and man is also riding a horse and there will be like uh, you know, this humor or you know this horse power. I'm not a you know this car. I'm not a, a you know this robot. But I like to say that um, I have a horse power. So uh, some cars have like uh, 200, 300 horse power, but only, <laughs> I have only one horse power. I think. So um, I could, you know, this uh, draw this, you know, this spirit, you know, this uh, creatures uh, with the human body, uh, like in this, uh, this in this uh, image of a Genghis Khan, where you have a deer warrior and a wolf warrior, something, <laughs> something like that, and. Um, if I draw like this, um, it may uh, look like, you know, this Egypt. So, um, I guess in traditionally, you depict animals as, as they, they are, and you do not add your, like, human body. Well, uh, um, that's going to be pretty much for today, and I would like to, I w wish you a good, happy new year. And... Uh, well, that's pretty much it today, and uh, thanks for watching.